Well, Sachin Tendulkar has become the first Indian sportsperson to be given the country's highest civilian award, the Bharat Ratna. But a fierce debate has raged over the last 48 hours over whether he should have got it now and whether hockey legend Dhyan Chand and former Prime Minister Vajpayee were more deserving. Today, Union Minister Farooq Abdullah and Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar put aside their differences with the BJP to say that Mr. Vajpayee must be honoured. I understand Bharat Ratna is also big. But if you want it, तो इज्जत से दे दीजिए और आप दे दीजिए मेरी भी अपील यही होगी कि उनको दे दीजिए भारत रत्न अब लोहिया जी को तो दिया ही नहीं इतने बड़े जन नेता समाजवादी विचारक और चिंतक बहुत लोगों को मिला है तो अटल जी को क्यों नहीं मिलना चाहिए अटल जी भारत रत्न लोगों के दिल में बसे हुए अब सरकार कब निर्णय करती है लेकिन वो तो इस देश के रत्न है ही बने सचिन तेंदुलकर क्रिकेट के अच्छे खिलाड़ी हैं लेकिन क्रिकेट ने उनको लगभग हजार करोड़ रुपया भी दिया है मुफ्त में उन्होंने नहीं खेला है क्रिकेट को कॉरपोरेट सेक्टर ने इतना मैंने बढ़ाया चढ़ाया है विज्ञापनों के लिए वो उसमें इतना पैसा है जिसका कोई हिसाब किताब नहीं है क्रिकेट हमारे सारे खेलों को खत्म कर गया आपको तो लगता है वो नहीं डेवलप करते थे यार। बिल्कुल नहीं खतरा ही नहीं कोई सवाल ही नहीं होता क्रिकेट के है अब तो उसके अंदर सट्टा लगने लग गया वहाँ का जो अब क्रिकेट के बिकने लग गया उसके अंदर जो फिल्म स्टार्स आने लग गया यानी क्या हो गया इसको मार्केट का चीज बना दिया ये हिंदुस्तान के लिए अनुचित है देश के लिए निर्माण में क्या उस आदमी ने काम किया है देर आर समाइज पीपल देर हु डिसाइड वर द पीपल हु आर एलिजिबल डेफिनेटली प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाजपेयी हैज बीन ग्रेट स्टेट्समैन नेशन ओव टू सम ऑफ दीज ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज हु आर ट्रूली डिजर्विंग ऑफ दैट रिकग्निशन So was this the right time to give a Bharat Ratna to Sachin Tendulkar joining us on left right and center tonight we've got Shashi Tharoor joining us from here in Delhi Derek O'Brien of the Trinamool Congress joins us from Kolkata both of them avid sports fans AB Subai a former Olympian and former goalkeeper of Hockey India is with us tonight and V Krishna Swami senior sports journalist joins us tonight from Chennai let me ask Shashi Tharoor first that when you hear uh, the some of the criticism that has come up, uh, come about in the last 48 uh, hours to Sachin's award in particular that it was too soon that Dhyan Chand should have been awarded first that mr vajpai was a more worthy recipient before uh, sachin tendulkar how do you react well first of all i think sachin tendulkar was in the minds of uh, of of hundreds of millions of indians truly a ratna of bharat and to give him the bharat ratna is probably one of the most popular decisions that the government has made in the awarding business so as far as i'm concerned there's nothing wrong with that particular selection having said that uh it is true that in giving the award in this particular instance the government seized a moment the bharat ratna is actually an award for a lifetime's achievement but in a cricketer's life 40 is about the end of a lifetime in terms of accomplishment in cricket and so it seemed appropriate to give it to sachin right now sadly the wonderful magnificent dhyan chand who was at the very least the tendulkar of hockey in his time has passed away and therefore it makes very little difference to him whether he gets it last year or this year or next year and clearly the government uh, felt that giving it to one sportsman and giving it thereafter to an eminent scientist far away from the headlines was the right way of balancing uh, this year's bharat ratnas surely the other names that have been mentioned including dhyan chand including uh, uh, vajpayee sahab uh, all of these they will be the appropriate time you don't want to dilute the uh, the the award by 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 giving large numbers of them in one go but certainly many distinguished political leaders have received awards a long time after the conclusion of their careers or towards the end of their careers the example of sadar patel who won it something like 40 years after he passed away uh, uh, so certainly uh, i don't see an inordinate delay involved in not giving it to former prime minister vajpayee uh, and as far as dhyan chand ji is concerned sportsmen were only included this year and the need of this year was clearly sachin tendulkar i'm sure dhyan chand ji's time will come in due course well here is an interesting word you use there and i'm going to take that to derek o'brien derek what shashi tharoor just said is uh, uh, you know he talked about sachin's popularity now i'm a sachin fan myself i'm really glad he got the bharat ratna i've been uh, applauding it all weekend but is that go- going to be the reason to give it to him first as a sportsman that's the question because a, a lot of people who are fans of sachin and are glad that he got the award are wondering whether it would have been more appropriate now that the rules were amended to award it to sports persons to give it to dhyan chand first even if he has passed away so many years ago actually i'm itching to respond politically to some of the stuff sachi uh, sachi said but i will restrain myself because i think the bharat ratna itself is a reason for celebration 
Now, I'd go along with the fact that since sports was included this year, sports has some catching up to do. Of, of the 43 or 44 people who won the Bharat Ratna, trade and industry won, sport just won. So maybe in the next two, three years, uh, Dhyan Chand, why not Leslie Claudius? 